Welcome back to Empire Total War. This is um, video number 134, and it's the third part of the battle with the Marathas. We're still still in the summer of, uh, sorry, we're still in the winter of 1734, and we're fighting this as the United Provinces against a Maratha army, which is far superior to ours. It's got a good mixture of troops and the uh, land technology um, of their infantry is much more superior to my own. These are those um, uh, Sikh warriors who've been running around my left hand side all over the place. They've tried to attack my cavalry, they've been all over the place. I've um, thrown grenades at them and they've run away from them. I've formed and reformed my infantry, fired at them again and again and again, I've continually fired at them, and still they seem to defy me. And here they come at the end, they're still going to go in melee attack. Eventually they've decided they've got to because they're losing it, but they've lost so many men now that finally, eventually, they've broken. <laughs> so get the cavalry in there quick, wipe them out, get them out of the way, and let's have my infantry back please and put my army back together again. Thank you very much. They've held up, what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units? So five of cavalry. The whole of that left flank they've held up. Yeah. Now, if they'd have managed to keep that mortar that I wiped out, wiped out, that would have been a perfect um, thing for them to do because they'd have been continually hitting my infantry here over and over and over and over again with those mortars as I crossed to go um, to reform my army to attack his army that's now formed over to the right-hand side of this um, of the town. So there they go, sending all the cavalry, wipe him out. It looks fairly free of, well, it looks completely free of chevaux de free, so. They shouldn't be at risk. Going column formation, as you can see, with the infantry, so that we can get them into get, get them some good positioning. He's got artillery here as well. You see, just to the right of the artillery, some Chevrolet de Free. That's stopping me from suddenly attacking that with cavalry. That's the thing about gun emplacements, once you've got your guns in them, um, the enemy never moves them out. You can, well, you know, if you're controlling the game, but an enemy never will. You see the lancers in the background there? I've sent enough cavalry in there to be able to cope with any lancers. I know we're going to get fire from that building. Um, I'm just going to suffer that, I'm afraid. Okay, I'll lose five, maybe even ten horsemen. I don't I, uh, I don't mind. What he'll have put inside that house will just be um, peasantry. So, um, I, I want to make sure that none of these Sikh warriors come back to the next battle. You can tell how angry they've made me, can't you, really? <laughs> I don't know why he's sitting those lances at the back. He's obviously decided my force, my cavalry force, is too big for him. So keep checking, and he's not moving. He's not coming for me. He's not going anywhere, is he? Right, they're gone. So I've got to get them back now, quickly as possible, so that they're not taking too much fire from uh, that building. That's why he wasn't bringing those lances up. He's got other troops coming in here from this side, hasn't he? Okay, get back quickly, lads. He's got uh, firing troops as well. They're probably musket armed cavalry. I think they're actually called camel hand gunners. The other thing about camel handgunners, by the way, is that um, their camels frighten cavalry. So sometimes you can get poor morale factors on your horse, you know, because the horse don't like the smell of the, the camels. Here he comes. Well, that's fine. We'll just keep withdrawing at speed. Uh, he's going to hold us up again, I'm afraid, isn't he? So we'll shoot some of those down. Form square if we have to. Mm. 
now he's got a problem because we're going to fire at him from his flank. We've got more horse than he can manage to his front. And we've even got some grenadiers off to the side as well. I think he needs to be withdrawing though, he's pretty sharpish. Why he wants to hold me up, of course, is so that his artillery can play on my infantry. He just wants to kill as many of my men in his country as he possibly can. And here he comes after my cavalry. I did ask my cavalry to charge very late, I must admit. And that's the reason that I wanted... Uh, the reason for that, sorry, is that I wanted this these horse to be um, forward of him, or rather behind him, so that we can attack him, in, attack him in the flank and rear and defeat him decisively. I don't want him getting away, you see. There you go, three lots of horse, all in against him at once. If we'd have gone him to him just from the front, then he'd have routed back and we'd have been chasing him back a long, long way. Well, we managed to hit him from, say, effectively three sides at once. Uh, make a big difference. Now, I rushed on there a bit. The line was about to be formed. Um, I decided that um, a good way to take out his um, guns there would be to um, send across some grenadiers I had on the left flank. Um, I thought, great, no problem, he's got Chevrolet free there, you see, so I didn't want to send horse in there, like I am doing now, and I'm going to suffer terribly for it. Um, but what happened was, um, uh, he could grate me at, at close range, um, down my line, um, and I sent the grenadiers in there, uh, thinking that we'd be able to take out his guns, and he sent in some cavalry, some cavalry. Um, defeat of my grenadiers quite easily, remember, he's more sophisticated than we are now, so um, his, um, his cavalry was superior to my grenadiers. Um, so, I've now got routing grenadiers, and his artillery managed to survive. Uh, stupidly, knowing he'd got Chevrolet de Free in there, I rushed in my horse to defend my grenadiers, and lost a fair amount of horse while I was doing it. I managed to pull them out as quickly as I could, but I did lose a fair amount of cavalry doing that. I did that in order to rescue the grenadiers, like I say. Whether it was worth it or not, I really don't know, because in the Indian campaign at the moment, the grenadiers don't seem particularly useful. You know, normally their extra um, combat ability is enough to make them worth having, but um, with them having the advanced bayonet drill and being able to recruit better combat troops, really the advantage of the grenadiers is gone. Because um, they can't form square, of course. So they do struggle against cavalry. Otherwise, what I could have done was move them up to the artillery. When the cavalry started to appear, put them in square. No problem. We'd have shot the artillery as well as the um, the cavalry at the same time. So, a bit of a stupid waste there, I'm afraid. That's his artillery running away, though. So we have cleared them out of the way, so they won't be firing into our flanks. And they were, like I said, close enough to hit us with grape shot. Okay. Back to the original plan, which is to form a line so that we can attack these Marathas um, line on line, if they'll ever let us do that. They don't seem to want to, do they? What they seem to be doing is um, attacking me with um, superior units against my weakest units, you know, uh, usually on the flanks, but sometimes in the centre as well. They're obviously trying to break me somewhere, and you can bet as soon as that happens, they'll throw the rest of the forces right in at that point. So far we've managed to avoid it. Okay, long battle, like I say. You can always whiz through these videos and move on to the other ones um, if it's not the kind of thing that you want to watch. But if you don't mind going through it, it's a bit like a chess game. It, it sort of gives you an idea of, you know, for those who don't play the game, um, how battles like these pan out. I'm quite happy with the column forma formation now, by the way. I like column formation against combat troops because it means we've got a bit of strength in depth as well. If you've got weak, thin lines, you can go through them and then roll you up. OK, this has been video number 134. Um, I hope to get this battle finished on video 135. No guarantees, though, I'm afraid.